Hi there. There are two apps can uh, put your SLT subtitles to Final Cut Pro. Uh, the first one is uh, SLT Converter. Uh, it can uh, basically convert any subtitle format to another format. Uh, in this case, I want to convert your SLT file to iTunes timed text. iTunes, yeah, this one. This is the standard format uh, belongs to Apple. And uh, I choose the FPS to 25 and uh, convert to desktop. Okay. Then I can import the ITT file, the captions file, to Final Cut Pro the desktop. This is the one, ITT. Okay. So, your subtitles are just fine in Final Cut Pro 10. This is the, the built-in ITT import support of Final Cut Pro 10. Another workaround is, let me uh, disable this. Okay. Let's try the, the other workaround. That software is Final SLT. You can also download from the uh, Mac App Store. Uh, first, you have to make a Final Cut Pro 10 subtitle template. For example, uh, you can choose a, uh, maybe basic, so basic title. Okay. Put a, a simple title to, to the timeline and change the position and uh, maybe a little bit bigger. And uh, now you can do as many format settings as you want. Uh, once you are satisfied with the title, you just, you just click on the project, this project. It's a uh, uh, 1920p, it's a 1080p, 25fps project. So just for example, you can export an XML. This XML is just for title template. Okay, save it to desktop. Okay, then open final SLT and drag your SLT file here. Then drag the XML file here, export an XML with your subtitles, save. Okay, it will automatically import this new XML, new project to Final Cut Pro 10, keep both. And then you can see this new project, including all your subtitles. For your purpose, I think Final SLT may be a better choice for you because you can uh, set as many format settings as you want. If you use the, uh, how to say, the title, uh, how can I, okay, row, <laughs> where's the row? Uh, rows, yeah, titles, titles. Okay, anyway. Uh, here, this project, the captions, or you can choose this one and uh, do some very basic uh, font setting like uh, the font color, the text color, and uh, be bold, italic, and underline. Uh, but you don't have many choice to have many uh, option to uh, to set your subtitle settings. So. Uh, it's up to you. Thank you.